30p. <laughs> <laughs> Leela Jackson meets and cheats here. Recording. I mean, you're married, it's Leela Bailey. Oh no, you've not changed it yet, have you? <laughs> Leela Jackson meets and cheats here, reporting fish and chips Judy. So, we went to Whitby. We did the best rated fish and chips in Whitby. You know what happened? People got happy, people got mad. It went crazy. Safe to say in our terms, it almost went viral. So, we're here in Bridlington, AKA Bridders, AKA the Big B. Bridders, do they call it that? <laughs> they do now. The Bs, the Brids, B to the RD. Oh my ID. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> so we thought we would do a similar thing here. We're gonna hit up the top three fish and chip restaurants in Bridlington. So we've Googled, we've TripAdvisors, we've asked friends. TripAdvisors. TripAdvisors. <laughs> TripAdvisors. 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 They've advised us. How great. You've invented a word. I know, right? Um, and we're going to hit them up today. Don't be mad. Don't be angry. Just leave a comment. If you don't like the ones we've been to, just let us know in the comments and we'll come back and we'll do it again because we bloody love Britters. Exactly. We're going to do... We love, what is it, B to the Riddles? B to the Riddles, B to the Etan. <laughs> oh, you are so white. Let's go! <laughs> so the first port of call is heart and fish reason. I'm going to try and do this quick because we might get attacked by seagulls and nobody wants that. So we're coming here because they claim that they do their fish and chips the Yorkshire way. Everything is cooked in beef dripping, which is not good for you pesky vegans, but good for us. We're going to go inside and we're going to find out what their fish and chips is all about on our first stop on our best fish and chips Me. in Bridlington. What's the TripAdvisor review? What stars they got? It's got 4.5. That's a good score for TripAdvisor yeah, because good. the Karens of the world love to complain. <laughs> Let's go and have a taste. This was 30p. My review is not going well so far. 30p. <laughs> <laughs> So the first port call, like we said, Harbour Fisheries, and we've got their mini fish and chips because we're going to eat a lot of fish and chips over <laughs> this weekend. So got to keep it real, haven't we? And if you go with the basic subtle setup here, you know what you're getting straight away. So now the chips look good. There's some mad colour on those. Some of the ones we had in Whitby looked quite pale, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, these, these look, look golden. Brown. So it's a good one. Okay. Very well salted by my wife. Thanks. Hmm. So hot, but. If you actually look inside, there's tons of potato in there. It's not all airy and rubbish or anything like that. It will focus. It's okay, it's okay. okay. Let me get focused. Stop Loads here. of crisp ball around the outside there as well. Really, really fluffy inside. Tons of potato. That is a good chip. So next up, Leela's going to let us know about the fish. Oh, wow. Oh, that doesn't have uh, some fish in. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Keep yeah, fresh. let me get some batter action. Oh yeah, I did sound nice. Okay, yeah. Good batter. I can if it's just beef, beef dripping, as they have claimed, I can taste it. It's fresh. I think that's why the mm. chips and the batter are so golden because they mm. use the beef dripping instead. Flaky. Yeah. Get quite a lot in. Look as well. So you like meaty fish. Yeah. But sometimes it can look a bit bitty inside. Yeah, fl overly flaky. Yeah, that's yeah. really like like dense, but good. So wrapping it up, Leela, what did you? score that fish and chips i'm wrapping it up <laughs> so harbour fisheries it's it's bold for the first one we're going nine out of ten I nice know, i know nice it was awesome batter crispy but not too greasy it didn't leave my hands really greasy chips brown i like a brown chip golden golden we don't want like an anemic chip true fish chunky and we only got a small because obviously we're eating lots and good portion size Buy you for money, £4.80 for a small. It's right on the seafront, banging fish and chips. Yeah, it's a banging. We are here, part two, fish and chip tour of Bridlington. We are at Pier 6. <laughs> so this is recommended to us on Instagram because it is award winning fish and chips. And I believe you say five out of five stars. Five out of five on TripAdvisor. Five out of five, baby. Let's see what he lives up to, shall we? Let's go get some batter. So starting off here at Pier 6, Leela is going to sample the chips. So again, like the last chips, 
nice colour. Brown, which is good. So I'm gonna go for this one. It's like a good chip. I think so. Fluffy. What I already like about Bridlington is their chips have colour. Yeah, everywhere. They're very golden. Mm. Hot, but good. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look inside. What's the potato like? Very potatoey. Very potatoey. That okay. makes sense, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, 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 definitely. But good. Well, like, they, they do look really, really chunky, almost yeah. like a fish and chip shop wedge. Yeah. Mm. Fish tab. Okay, right down the middle. Already, that is proper flaky batter. Yeah. It just fell apart. Money shirt is just, just going to manhandle oh, the fish. Oh, I know. Oh, oh, chunky. Oh, yeah. It looks good, and it's burning my hand. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. Take off this nice bit here, yeah. and the fish is definitely more flaky here, though. but not too flaky. It's not over the top. The batter looks golden. Doesn't feel too greasy either. We have put a lot of vinegar on. If you look at your hands, are making it very hard to focus on this fish. Cheers. The batter's really, really airy. It's great. Oh yeah. Mm, really good. Um, but don't let that make you think that the fish is going to be really, really poor because it's not. It's very meaty. Very, very thick. Very, very juicy. Very, very fresh. I'm going to eat the whole thing. So, we've been to Pier 6 and that was a good fish and chips. Now, first things I need to point out is they do not do a small portion. We like to go for like a child or a small portion. They only do regular large ones. They also don't do cod, so we had to go with haddock. And I personally love haddock and it was delicious. The batter was crispy, the chips were fantastic, the restaurant was nice and the staff were friendly. I've got to say, I'm going to give Pier 6 an 8 point. Seven. Leela, where are you going? The chip shop that you told us to come to next that we've just walked for 20 minutes for, it's, it's back over here. Look, it's, it's here. It's shut. <laughs> it's shut, Leela. <laughs> So we're here at Busy Bees. We've tried many other fish and chip <laughs> establishments this afternoon, but everything appears to be shut. So we're coming here to a place that's been established since 1973, and we're gonna have some fish and chips, and we're gonna find out if it lives up to the other two restaurants we've been to. Let's go inside and have some better. Mm. very excited because after a lot of hunting we've finally found our final fish and chips now we did say we were going to try and do three restaurants and as luck would have it this is the only one that's open at this point so this will be our last one but it does not disappoint again golden chips they look really really nice and crispy around the edge the batter on the fish looked interesting but i'm here I'm to do the chips softest chips so far and that's not a bad thing they're really fluffy fluffiest chips we've had so far i think and to tell you all about the fish is Leela Fish Connoisseur. Ready to get some crunch on okay. him? Oh god, yeah. No, I think that batter looks brilliant, don't you? Yeah. Oh. This is definitely some. Ready? Mmm. I can hear it. What's that? What is it? S and M. A S M M M M S R M M. So this <laughs> is the best batter I'd say we've had so far. I thought that when as soon as I saw mm. it come out. It's super crunchy, but like quite thick batter knot. You see, you get, you get that like battery goodness inside, and look at the meaty fish as well. Mm. Really good, yeah. Look at that. I like the reaction. That's that could awesome. be the best fish. So <laughs> it's raiding time. Busy bees, fish and chips. Chips. Right, I'm gonna start on chips. Mix looking at me in an angry manner, just because the chips were great. They were fluffy. They were really nice, a good size. Also, side note, this is the most expensive fish and chips we've had so far, not to judge. It was about £10.45 for just a regular portion. They don't do minis. Good size though, good chips. The only thing for me is the fish was piping hot. The chips were lukewarm. They Controversial. They weren't warm, they weren't hot. They were a bit chilly. Um, but they were really good, so... And lots of free condiments. And lots of free condiments was great, so Mick really liked the chips. I was a bit disappointed because I like food to be piping hot. Fish, great. So fish, really good. Large, meaty, and the batter was the best batter we've had so far. Even better than the beef dripping batter, for sure. So it was crunchy, it was really thick, it was dense, and it was like juicy on the inside. So, overall score, mm -hmm. I'm gonna go 
8.5 because the chips let it down for me. Ah, you're all about the temperature, aren't you? I am, like, like Sean Paul. <laughs> So there we have it, three days in Bridlington, three lots of fish and chips, and the question is, who do we both think are the best fish and chips in Bridlington? Leela, who is your favorite? Now let's do it at the same time, ready? Okay. One, two, two three. three. Hot Busy hot beans. Fish oh. <laughs> so Pier 6 were great because the actual seating inside was really, really nice, and the fish and chips were fantastic. The seating was great. The service was fantastic as well. It was really, really good, but I'm gonna go with Busy Bees, and you're going with Harbour Fisheries. Why are you getting Busy Bees tell me in one sentence? So despite what you said about the lukewarm chips, I don't like my food too hot because I can't eat it quick enough. But their fish was absolutely amazing, their batter was crispy, and they had an unlimited supply of condiments. Harbour fisheries because beef dripping. Mm. Beef dripping batter. Okay, yeah. It won. The chips were golden and crispy, the yeah. fish was good, it had an overall score, it was on the harbour, mm -hmm. hence the name, great view and really good value for money. Valid, valid. Our Insta has been blowing up. There's places we didn't even know about. So there's a place we found out about today, didn't have a clue about. So yep. where should we go next? Where's your favorite in Bridlington? There's been a lot of places that were closed as well because we're currently out of season, yeah. but you should hit us up in the comments below and let us know what other fish and chip shops should we check out in Bridlington because we've had such a lovely time. We're coming back. We are coming back. So make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And if you are angry about the fish and chip shops we've been to, get all ragey in the comments below and let us know where we should go. But most importantly of all, make sure you subscribe. Peace out. Bye.